Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another the next review of Anime Month. So now this is I review the the sixth season of Pokemon Advanced. Now we're going to the next uh, one, the season, the seventh one of of the Ruby and Sapphire series, and that's Pokemon Advanced Challenge. So in this one, um, uh, this one run through from from in Japan aired from two thousand three to two thousand four. And then Japan aired from 2004. In in America, ran from 2004 to 2005. So in this uh, continuing uh, in this one, uh, continuing on with Ash, May, Max, and Brock in the Hoenn region. And once again, with um, Ash wanting to earn his, earn his bat his next badge, and uh, May uh, it went entering continuing on entering in the more Pokemon contest, earn her rib her next ribbon. And the, as for this in this series, though, know, there is there is two more. I think there is a couple more more episodes uh, more episodes I liked than in the previous season. Although I will still say I, the theme I want to be a hero. I think I prefer that more than the theme in this in this uh, opening. Um. Uh, I forget what the name of this uh, theme was though, but it's, it's, it's advanced challenge though, and I think it's I would probably say it's one of my least fa one of my least favorite themes. It's not bad, but I think it's one of my least favorite. I think the the previous theme for I Want to Be Hero. Oh yeah, it's called it's called uh, This Dream. It was, is what it's called This Dream. I think I prefer I Want to Be Hero more than the theme of this one, This Dream. Like I said, it's not bad, but I think it's one of my least favorite ones. And also something that's a little bit different. Um, um, usually in like in, in like in, in, in intermission com like between commercials, they're always saying who's that Pokemon. Instead, they have this uh, what's called a trainer's choice. It's like a like a an it's a it's an answer question. You know, like Ash like asks the us the audience. You know, what does he evolve from? Or this and what Pokemon evolves from this or this and then what is the week against this? So. So instead of who's that Pokemon, they have this trainer's choice, which honestly I did not care for. I did not care for this a trainer's choice, which later that would be um, in Battle Frontier. That they didn't do that now. They didn't, they didn't do that. They just abandoned that idea of it. Probably people think that they think that who's that Pokemon is much better. <laughs> but anyway, continuing on where Ash and his friends left off in the Hoenn region, like I said, there's more, a um, couple more episodes that I prefer. Like like uh, the next episode, like the next uh, few episodes, like um, the fourth episode in, and then the next episode, where Ash Ash and Brock they reunite with Misty. Misty. Um, now, if you're wondering, um, there is this series. There is there is a, a spinoff Pokemon series called the Pokemon Chronicles, where it focuses more on the side characters other than Ash. Like the side characters, like Brock, Misty, or even one of Ash's rivals, like um, Richie or um, Casey, or even sometimes with Professor Oak and Tracy and Ash's mom as well. And besides Team Rocket, like Jesse and James, you get uh, Butch and Cassidy more in, in this series. Um, so you like those characters? They're in this. There's more. It's a set of like Team Rocket, like Jesse and James. Although no, actually no. You do Jesse and James gets their own episodes too. I can't. I'm, my mistake on that. But it's, instead of just Ash in the Ash in the series, it's more of the other side characters, like I said. And and um, there was an episode where um, Misty goes back to the Cerulean gym, you know, and this is where the episode where she gets over her fear of Gyarados, because you know throughout the series before. She's always been a little bit terrified of Gyarados, and she disliked Gyarados. But in one, the episode um, in the Pokemon Chronicles, where she gets over her fear of Gyarados, because they have a Gyarados in the gym, and she needs to take care of it, but she gets over her fear of it. And in this episode, well, not the not not in the part one, but in the part two, where Misty is in, um, she shows that she uses a her she uses the Gyarados, and it's and Miss and Ash is like, oh wow, she finally. Um, well, he didn't say she got over fear of Gyarados, but she's like, hi, she she has a Gyarados now. So, but in, uh, but the two episodes I liked were is 
or it's, it's part one, the princess and the togepi, and then the next one, the a togepi mirage. Where there's this kingdom that worships togepi, and there's this thing, this little paradise that's between the worlds where togepi live, and it, like, it, or it, it's more of a paradise when there's more happiness in it, but if it's more fear and stuff like that, their paradise gets drained, and the trees come like all bare and broken, stuff like that. And there's this character, and there's this uh, guy who works for the king and queen and the princess named um, Colonel Henson, who wants the togepi for himself to him so he can be the ruler. You know, that's that that type of cliche. You know, there's always a cliche in movies like, oh, one person who who wants to rule this kingdom. You know, that type of cliche. So that's in the part one, and, and then part two. Um, this is an episode where uh, Togepi evolves into Togetic. And as I said, we should use Sir Gyarados for a little bit. And the guy, I guess, then the guy, Colonel Hudson, gets taken to jail. And then Togetic finally has to say goodbye to Misty. Because she has to, because Togepi needs to stay with the other Togepi in case someone else who is evil comes along and tries to do this, does the same thing. So. so she finally says, because after all that time since the very beginning of the series, she had Togepi with her. So. It was a little sad moment where she has to finally say goodbye to her precious Togetic, you know. So, it was a sad moment there for me. So, yeah, the, the, those two episodes I liked. Because, you know, especially when they get re when Missy reunites with them as well. So, and of course, her little stuff, when her reaction went with Team Rocket still all there, she says, You guys never change. <laughs> and, of course, this is where the, the thing was where, um, where since uh, before Missy came along, where... May and Max, see, you know, uh, where, you know, where Brock, you know, she goes, he, he goes oogly goo over pretty girls. Well, after what Max and May, see, after what Max sees, what Missy does to, uh, Brock when, when over, over, over the pretty princess, now from then on, Max does the same thing to Brock where he pulls his ear to get away from pretty girls, so Max does, does, uh, he does that after, from, the, from here on. <sighs> Um, and then, um, and then, uh, and then one, and one episode, uh, called I Feel Skitty, where is the Pokemon named Skitty, Kitty, Skitty, yeah, where May catches, catches the Skitty, um, there's another, uh, next episode where, um, there's this character named Nikolai who, uh, in the previous season, if I didn't mention, where he ran, they run into, where he, like, dresses himself as, po costumes of Pokemon, and he has a, a Zangoose, where Jesse uh, also in the previous season uh, captured a Surviper, and also forgot to mention that uh, James has a Cacnea. And but um, um, in this here, uh, Zangoose and uh, Surviper, they're natural enemies. They're enemies by nature, so they have a fight between them as well. And also with with Cac with Jesse James's Cacnea, it is like, kind of like what Victory Bell does. You know what Victory Bell just clamps onto him. Cacnea does the same thing as well in this. And then another episode um, I I um, I I liked in this in this season where his episode named Maxed Out. Um, this episode named Maxed Out where there's a boy who does look almost like an, ident an identical to Max because he his his also name is Max. You know, it has the same hairstyle, glasses, and his also name is Max. <laughs> and he but this he has a sir but he's a little bit older than our Max, and he has a sir skit. And uh, Jesse wants to capture it, and while they're attempting to capture it, um, May's a uh, skitty like ruffles up like Jesse's a uh, hair, and she gets all upset of, over it. <laughs> and when uh, by the time they come with a new uh, contraction and this big freaking hammer, like Jesse, I mean, like James, and Meowth, and uh, Ash and the others, they start laughing at um, at James's uh, I just uh, James's a uh, hair because Skitty messed it up, and it's like a big freaking. What May says is like a duck smop, and they all start laughing at her. And then J Jesse just goes, Oh, you like this? Think this is funny now? And then the one part she starts losing her mind when um, they crash into this water, and she rises up and is like, Yes, I want this skitty. And it's like, it's like, Oh, I'm so scared. And James is like, Me too. And I was like, Look away. Maybe she won't see us. And Jesse's just like, Walking like a zombie. He's like, I want this skitty. <laughs> I'm not the skate, the um, Sir Skit. 
See, <laughs> I don't know. That that was pretty funny. <laughs> so I didn't like that. That's an episode I liked. Uh, it was maxed out. And um, then when then um, May enters the next um, contest in which she wins her first ribbon. And then next to follow up once again with Team Aqua and Team Magma. They, um, they, uh, there's this, uh, guy who are, uh, who had, finds this meteorite, Team Aqua and Team Magma, they want this, well, Team Aqua first, they, they get the, ma the meteorite, they test out on this laser to make this volcano more, uh, to make it rise up, you know, start an eruption, and Ash and this, uh, professor guy, they fool their plan by pushing this whole entire machine into the lava, so... Then, then they abandon their operation. They leave. And then we're then um, then they uh, Ash goes to meet on his next gym battle with with a flan this girl named Flannery, who specializes in fire Pokemon. And uh, this one episode I thought was kind of funny too. I like a name called Poetry Commotion, where Flannery's grandfather is supposed to leave on his little journey, but um, he left the journey. He left the gym totally unprepared for Flannery to take over because she's now the new gym leader, his his granddaughter, and he left it a totally mess and she's totally unprepared for what the whole thing is going with this gym. So the, um, so he like disguised himself to make sure everything's in order and stuff like that. So that's another good one. Then uh, the next one I like when um when he fights when Ash fights Flannery and then wins his next badge, which he had um. She has a tor a torkel, and uh, what was the other? There was another fire Pokemon that she had. I forget, but I know she had she had a, she had a torkel. Uh, and then when eventually, in, the, in, the, in a couple episodes later, then Ash does catch a torkel in this uh, st uh, valley of steel. Where they fight against a, a steel type Pokemon like Magnemite, St Skarmory, Magneton, in the like basically the leader of the Valley uh, Steelix. Um, then they meet this this, uh, this one uh, at May meets this 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 woman, who was a a, a coordinator champion. Um, who is who is now? Uh, her name is Abby, and she's now a doctor. She learned that there's more to being just a trainer or a champion, so she wanted to learn Pokemon a bit better, so becoming a doctor. But she, at the same time, she shows her she's uh, shows that she's a uh, why she's a coordinator champion. Um, and then there's another. Uh, uh, like I said, there's more episodes I li I, I liked more than the previous season. Maybe I'll get but by season wise, I prefer. There's, I prefer the advanced challenge more than the first one, because there's more episodes I liked in the I liked in this season. Like there's this one, this next one called Disaster of Disguise. There's this kid who is calls calls himself the Phantom who has a Dusclops, and her father know his father knows about this because he was once called the Phantom too, but um, his wife and t uh, Timmy, who's the Phantom, his mother forbids him from uh, playing with Pokemon. Or competing, or whatever, because he wants to be more uh, part of her, her company, all that stuff. But you learn, but you learn that uh, she once liked Pokemon, but due to her parents, forced her away from Pokemon to be more stricter, you know, and all that stuff. So, but eventually, the mother does come around and say that she, you know, her son to, you know, do what she, he wants with Pokemon as long as you don't fall behind your homework. <laughs> so those, those, and that, that's also part two as well, where he enters the contest against May. And then eventually defeats him, and May earns her uh, next ribbon. And then there's an episode where called Gulpin It Down, where there is this invading group of Pokemon named Gulpin that likes to eat everything. And then one leads to another where a guy named, funny, this guy's name is Dr. Jacuzzi. I mean, really? Dr. Jacuzzi? As in, like, a, a jacuzzi tub? I just find that funny though, J Dr. Jacuzzi. But he vents his machine, and one thing, like, one thing goes haywire that makes one gulp and, and tree go, Ash's tree go evolve into giant size, like Godzilla fighting style, you know, Godzilla size. 
they fight, but eventually everything goes back to normal. Um, and then when uh, Ash does go back to Pelberg City to fight uh, May and Max as a father for his next gym battle, Norman... So so he so he, so he but he does beat um a May and Max's father for his next badge. And then there's an episode named called Grass Hysteria where uh May gets carried away by a scar range into this forest where it's forbidden to humans for grab by grass Pokemon and where she meets uh, a where where she does meet and does catch a Bulbasaur and it's a, and this Bulbasaur is slightly bit smaller than Ash's Bulbasaur and I can tell this Bulbasaur that May has is a girl because it has little hearts that right on its forehead <laughs> um, and then the next episode and then the next episode where uh, May's Bulbasaur meets Ash's Bulbasaur so and they have a little uh, the once again a little fight with Team Rocket due to, to stealing Pokeballs other trainers Pokeballs and it's quite funny because after the, by the end of the episode, Professor Professor O calls Ash to get his Bulbasaur back to his place because if you if you recall a while back, you know that uh, Ash left his Bulbasaur at Professor Oak's lab because he is his Bulbasaur is kind of like the peacemaker between um, the grass and wire Pokemon at, at the lab, so he's kind of like the peace uh, or ref the referee or peacemaker over there, so. <laughs> but, but Professor Oak's like all battered and beat up, and he tells Dash to send his Bulbasaur right back because they're fighting again, so. Um. And then there's, a, uh, then there's another uh, good episode where, uh, um, name, uh, me, myself, and Time, where Ash gets separated from the others, and, uh, Ash uh, meets this girl named, uh, Castellia? Cast Castellia? Ca Ca Callista. And she has a bow, uh, Pokemon name uh, called a Bow Toy, and there's this mysterious uh, woman who like sings this a song to uh, Callista, and which she also has a Zatu. At least it's this old ruin. Eventually, by the end of the episode, it's actually Callist Callista's future self to follow. You know, basically to follow her dreams because she had this uh, same book that she carries about you know ancient about time travel with the Bow Toy and stuff like that. So it was actually her her future self that that they were talking to, and she, so the future the future uh, Callista sends her back to her own time. But that one's the, that one's I'll say another good episode as well. And then when a few episodes later, that uh, Ash's uh, tail evolves into a swallow, where there's this there's this um competition, an air aerial competition, where James um. Basically, he kind of fight, he fights fair and square in this competition using Jesse's uh, dust talks to do it, and then eventually, Taylor evolves into Swellow. And then a couple of episodes later, where May's Torchic evolves into Combuskin, and then where James gets another new Pokemon named Chimeco. Which he runs, which he runs into that old swindler, you know, back from the very first season, who were on that, who was on, who was on that cruise at the Saint Anne, who sold him that magic card that that was gonna make him lots of money. That same phony, which he also ran into in bed during the Jota League, where Jesse gets Wobbuffet. <laughs> that same swindler comes in here trying to pass off a, a magic card disguised as a, uh, f um, what was it, a Feebas? Yeah. I was like, hey, it's that swindler again. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, the same. There's a lot more episodes I liked more in Pokemon Advanced more than uh, the first, the previous season of Pokemon Advanced. So yeah, I I think I, I enjoyed this se the season seven more than season six. Although I do say I like the theme for the first previous season, I want to be a hero more than this one here for this dream. But regardless, though, I still, but I think I would say I still like Advanced still. But I think Advanced Challenge I prefer, I liked. Do the episodes I liked I like more than this season. <clears throat> 
excuse me, throat's getting a little dry. But yeah, I, I think I prefer I, I do the more I, I, since I like more episodes than this one. I prefer I like Advanced Challenge more than Advanced. But once again, I so the voice work is good. I like the animation still, the music, of course. But uh, yeah, Advanced Challenge I still think it's good though. As I said, uh, m more in the first, more in the previous season, because I like the episodes more in this one. But yeah. There you go, guy. There's a lot more to go, though, but. I know there's not much for me to say, though, because it's. But. If they would prefer, it would prefer more. It'll, who likes the season, that's still good. But I, I like Advanced. I still like Advanced Challenge, and then. All the, and then the next the next one is Advanced Battle, which I will still say that I do like that theme. I think I, I think that the theme Unbeatable I like them both of these themes here of of the Advanced Ruby and Sapphire series. I think I like because I think I, I that's on more than these two themes. Oh, I'm unbeatable. Yeah, but that's gonna be on the next review though. So. But I hope you. But I hope you enjoyed my my review for this one for Advanced Challenge. I still I still I like this one too. But um, I like the first. I like Advanced though. But I think I as I enjoyed this one more. But this is my opinion though. But that's my that's my review for Pokemon Advanced Challenge. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the review for Advanced Battle. Later.